Good morning, everyone. Happy, happy new year to you. Welcome to the first Live in the Boutique for 2023. And I'm kicking this off with my custom knit sweater by my friend Juan. So beautiful. So we're gonna, I'm like, okay, we need this pattern. It's really a pun. I have another friend who wants me to reverse engineer a sweater. So it's similar to this but this is really comfortable, super comfortable. I want to do it in, um, do another one in one color, but it's kind of sweet. Alexander dyed this for me, custom dyed this for me, and Juan knit it for me. So oh, it's nice to have friends who will knit for you. Thank you, Juan. Shout out. Yep, I wrote on the, Here, I'll show you guys. I wrote on our little, what I'm memo sheet today a one original to show but isn't this so cute and you know he did it on the machine i'm just gonna say that but maybe we can convince him to give us a pattern so cute oh one right? i don't even I know mean, if he's watching see, but you don't have to do all this like even in a solid color it'd be beautiful but isn't it just the cutest little thing Ooh. It's crisp in the boutique somehow. The uh, heater came off, but hopefully your the start to 2023 has been amazing for you. You guys know we did our New Year's Day sale. It was fast and furious. We only did it for two hours, but lots of you got to take advantage of the sale that we had online on our website. That is the last one for, I don't know, 10 months, 11 months. So that was the last big sale we're having online. But lots of goodies are coming. Don't forget, we are going to be having a booth at Stitches. And I and my team and some of my friends are all helping to get it all together. I'm so excited. I spent uh, like an hour talking to Juan about it because he does lots of trade shows. But at a different for wholesale and so we were kind of like should we do this should we do that all kinds of stuff so good morning good morning everyone um all right so let's talk about we have we get to do the drawing for our grand prize today today this is our pattern for the love of the game it is available on ravelry the original design is out of chunky or bulky yarn think Baby alpaca chunky. That would just mm. be luscious. Or cumulus. Cumulus tends to be a heavy worsted. That would be a good one if you are sensitive to fibers. Cardo would be really I was nice. Say, Carlo, Cardo by Manos del Uruguay. And, you know, there's lots of good colors in this. Even like these two together would be beautiful. Oh, that'd be pretty. Like, more subtle, but really mm -hmm. pretty. More of a tone on tone. Um, gosh, I think you could get away with one. Yeah. One skein of each of Cardo. And if you have not used Cardo, it's pretty amazing. It's 100% Corridale wool. Which, the thing I know about Corridale is that when you wash it, it gets so much softer. So at first you're like, mm, is this a soft wool? I'm not sure. Because it's not. And then you wash it and you're like, oh, holy heck. Oh yeah. Really, really nice. We're working up a sample out of this as we speak. Uh, but very nice to work with. Hi, Carolyn. We just got your email. So we hope you feel better soon. So Cardo has really nice natural colors. It's more of a subtle. And Monastel Uruguay has been in business since 1968. Wow. All right. So one lucky person is going to get this prize uh, valued at more than $90. We have Malabrigo Rasta and Dream and Color Savvy. Uh, both are beautiful skeins, super bulky. Uh, Dream and Color Savvy has more yardage. That's why it's a bigger skein. And Rasta, uh, Savvy is a little bit softer. And then Rasta, everyone loves Malabrigo. So we are in love with the combination. We can't wait to see what you do with it. This is just a suggestion. But if you have 
any of the super bulkies in your stash, you could bump up to a US 15 needle and cast on 11 stitches. That's it, a whole 11. 11 stitches and whip the sucker out. This could be your first finished object for 2023. I love on the collective that people are doing yeah. that finished project. Cause it doesn't matter when you started it, only matters when you finish it. I was going through it, I'm working on, I'm actually doing work on my uh, art studio, uh, getting it together, putting furniture together, and I found three hats that are in the process. So I'm like, okay, maybe those will be my first UFOs for the season. I don't know. We shall see. So how do you get entered into the drawing for the grand prize? Every time you make a purchase, either online on our website, natikyarns.com, we've got that dialed in. Everything is available on the website. You can even pay with PayPal if you don't want to put your credit card on there. Um, classes are available. All the homework is up there. I mean, shout out to my team. They do an amazing job because that website is a real treat. It's a lot more work than people realize. So It's a fair bit of fidgety. Yes. If you guys ever see anything on the website that looks funny, like if there's maybe it's a wrong picture, send us a meal, an email. We love when you guys catch things there because there's so many moving parts on there. Not always do we catch it. So um, I'm really excited. So you get uh, entries for any time you purchase on the website, in our store, on the phone. We're available. We do lots of in um, over Zoom. We'll call you if you're not local and you want a private shopping. Um, hold oh, on. Hold on. I think we have a delivery person. Um, so while she answers the door, I'll tell you. So how you guys got entered to win this grand prize is from the 16th through the 31st of this month, you got one entry. It's cumulative. So if you purchased five times, you got five entries. If you purchased 10 times, you get 10 entries. And then this tomorrow we'll announce the next grand prize, which will be from the 1st through the 15th. So if you participated in our New Year's Day sale, oh, I'm in the wrong one. you like got an entry. Say. It's not pink enough. Seriously. <laughs> All right. Here is our wheel to pick. Uh, the name, look at all these entries. I love that we got to custom do this for the shop, the virtual shop hop. It's my favorite. All right, let's see who the lucky winner is. Do, 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 do. Are you trying to squint and read those? I am. You're gonna hurt your eyes, don't do that. Justine Kirksey. Congratulations. Congratulations. So, Justine, I know you're local, so you have the easy task for collecting your prize of stopping by the boutique anytime Tuesday through Saturday from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. Um, for those of you who have won recently or might win in the future, the way you collect your prize if you're not local is to put in the notes that you have a prize whenever you place an order. Um, it's really easy. There's a little box right before you check out that says notes. You just type in there. I have a prize. We pack it all up together in one of our pretty pink packages. And then that gets sent out to you with one of our fantastic delivery peeps. Oh, I remember to do 2023. Show off. <laughs> right? That's gonna, you know, that's gonna be for a while. I have not had to write it yet, thankfully, because I already know. The wrong number is going to come out of my fingers. Yeah. It's, I, I think, somebody posted a meme like that that was like, everybody's out there making New Year's resolutions. I'm just trying to remember to write 23. Right. That is true. Oh, my gosh. While I'm packing this up. The weather, I don't know if you guys saw oh. poor San Francisco. Oh, I didn't see that. Oh, flooding, cars floating. Oh, my. Really, they got hit. I mean, we had a lot of water. I live by the most gorgeous park, and I think they lost two of their big, big trees. Yeah, Luckily, it's... I just had dog poop soup in my Ew, that's nasty. Right? Oh, so I ended up 
thankfully Jack helped me pick up stuff uh, yesterday. I'm like, let's do it after we run this errand. He's like, no, I think it's gonna rain. And thank goodness we did, because ugh, if that doesn't make you, you know, yeah, do it. Oh yeah, that's so right. Mm. People in there are a lot of people in Wilton that can't leave Wilton. Basically, is it better or is it still bad? Oh, so you're you're done. Shelly, you would have to be, let me just say. Yeah, that's, I was so, ugh, I hadn't done it in a few days, so. Then you realize how much your dog uses that as a toilet. Right, you're like, oh, you guys are nasty. No, that's why I'm like, he needs to go on more walks, so I can just pick it up as I go instead of a whole bunch. All right, I am super excited about this. Bless you. <coughs> Daily prize, uh, one of my favorite yarns for the season. This is Juniper Moon Saxony. It is luscious, a luxurious blend of cashmere and extra fine merino wool. This is 75% cashmere, 25% extra fine merino, hand wash, lay flat to dry. One skein is going to give you this beautiful fun hat it is enough to do both the sizes it's actually 120 uh so maybe just take off like an i don't know maybe a half an inch a half of an inch of the ribbing if you want to do the large let me write on there just to be safe you can talk about the details while i'm doing this okay which this is a really fun Bavarian cable pattern. You just have the one section of it on the hat. I was thinking about this over the weekend because I keep seeing posts for Marie Green's sweater knit along with mm -hmm. the Bavarian cables. And I'm like, if that intimidates you, like you want to do the sweater, but you're like, oh, that's scary. Do yes. our hat first. Then you only have one little section of, I think it's like 20 stitches. And you can get the hang of it and see if you're interested in doing that for an entire sweater or not yes indeed all right so we've got the pattern here one lucky winner is going to win this and this is valued i don't know 25 30 dollars it is still this is a great way to use it and it's so soft on your head really really nice thank you carolyn yeah, this is the kind of thing you want touching your ears. It's okay. not it's not going to be itchy We've scratchy. Had a lot of people do the little ear warmers cuz oh, yes. out of two skeins you could get three ear warmers. It's really beautiful. It is a tweed, so you're going to see all the little specks and it's in a very uh, color appealing way. So this is the blue, like a cornflower blue. You're gonna see some navy, white, gray, a little bit of aqua every once in a while. I love that they went neutral brown. for the tweed. Yes. This is color 110 Columbia. And how you get entered into the drawing for this, you guys know, for those of you who are new, let me just let you know easy it doesn't cost you anything to get entered it just costs you love so every time you react to the video you're gonna get one entry if you're seeing something that we're showing that you're in love with just do the hearts or the wow whatever uh, makes you excited and you're gonna get one entry for every uh, comment you're gonna get five entries for every comment the more you comment the better it is for you and then you can get these bonus ones of sharing our post. Our goal is to make uh, be the local yarn boutique for people around the world. And it happens one share at a time. Happy 2023. All right, you're gonna get 11 entries for every re, every time you share, as long as you pop back in and write where you shared it to, that allows us to figure out where you guys are posting and then we go into the group and we'll interact and make it a little bit easier and try and help people as they're uh, navigating the new year and new skills. 
Um, all right, so we've got the Great Wall hat. Very simple, Bavarian cables look intimidating, but it's really a traveling knit through the back loop. That's it. Nothing's crazy. They're just little on one it. by one cables. Yep, one by one cables, and then it's moving, moving and grooving sometimes. Uh, the chart that we did, it's written out and it's charted. We color coded it to make it really easy for you. All right, so let's see who is going to be the lucky winner of this deliciousness. Ooh, Kathy Delgado. I'm so excited. The computer is in a local mood today. Yeah. Because oh, you are another local winner, which means stop by the boutique anytime Tuesday through Saturday from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. to collect your prize. And again, if you're not local and have won recently or win in the future to collect your prize, all you have to do is put in the notes when you check out at natikyarns.com that you have a prize. And then we send it all out together in one of our pretty pink packages. You guys are making uh, quite the dent in the clearance sale. Oh my gosh, seriously. Between, uh, I mean, we've really only been doing it a little over a week, but huge amounts are gone. Uh, the only issue is the pumpkins are multiplying. <laughs> Everyone needs to take a pumpkin with them. Just get one. Just one. I mean, they're only 250 to 325 depending uh, on which size. gifts for next fall. Or at that price, you really could do a whole uh, mantle of delicious. I'm telling you, those pumpkins are like rabbits. Um, I swear there was a dent in that box before the weekend. Now they're piled up again. All right. Yes, the yarn, we have everything is out currently if it goes down a lot we can always find more that we're willing to release they're still great amazing yarn oh you can show them what i worked on new year's day uh a new sweater pattern will be coming i'm just Out going dk weight yarn the first sample is all in it's in two colors and it's reversible, so I'm going to decide later on which one is going to be uh, the right side. The knit side or the pearl side. Isn't it pretty? I'm loving the red and blue. I just have the ribbing at the top, and then I'm done with the back. And there is a mistake on it. I didn't look that closely, apparently. No one's going to notice. That's why I'm making it the back. It's uh, It was a little early to be working on it, but I'm super excited about it. Uh, you guys know we're working on new designs for stitches. This one may be it, or it may be the sweater we knit together in February, but it is really fun. It, of course, we're writing it as a hand knit in the round, but just for sake of time. Uh, I could do part of it on the machine. So I'm excited about that. All right, uh, without further ado, I am super excited to release the January 2023 Inspirations colorway from Art Yarns. Da -da -da -da. Isn't it beautiful? So crazy beautiful. Those of you who have been in the boutique, you have seen it. Uh, we are, we just found out recently when we get it, it can go in the boutique. We just can't talk about it on social media until the first. So this loveliness is a Merino cloud, 80% super wash. Oh no, is it? No, 80% extra fine Merino wool, 20% cashmere. Uh, in the sweater that I'm wearing, this would be gorgeous. Oh, that would be lovely. Here is the inspiration photo. Uh, fire in ice. And it is gorgeous. I did do, my design is with, uh, you could do one skein of silky twist. 
or one skein of merino cloud and a beaded silken sequins, I believe. This is the coordinating, oh wait, where is it? I don't see it, let me grab it. Oh, I think it got put with the other silky twist. Oh, thank you. I thought we were out of it because it wasn't with the others. Yeah, well, we can move it later. <laughs> so, Silky Twist is the new base from Art Yarns. It's pretty incredible. 80% extra fine merino, 40% wool. But you could do a solid background and the beaded silken sequins would really pop because we've just used it on one row. One skein of each would be amazing. Um, this is one, I'm gonna say this is the first, uh, did we release this? Oh yeah, in Janu yep. January 1st? Yep. So this is our first pattern for 2023. I did knit it, I don't know, November maybe. I guess technically we posted it on the 31st, yeah, but close but, enough. But absolutely beautiful. I will unwind a skein of the Merino Cloud. It is, my pattern is a variation of um, Feather and Fan. But what I like about it, there's no holes. And instead of knit two together, you're purling two together, which gives you this great little textured bump maybe if i hold it at an angle you guys will really be able to see it i think it's a really good marriage of the yarn and the pattern nothing uh you see everything like you can clearly see the colors you can see the beads and you see the pattern that doesn't happen very often that it all works out so here is, I'm gonna pull it apart so Anna can use her magic food words. <laughs> oh, here's a good one. I'll try not to be too foody, but you know, there is persimmon orange in there, so we're in trouble already. It's so pretty, there we go. So it starts with this really beautiful lavender with just the slightest leaning towards periwinkle. Then it goes into this super soft powder blue silver into more of a sterling to a pewter to this charcoal gray that has just the slightest hint of teal. Then it has these beautiful sunset colors with the brighter, more persimmon orange into this soft, creamy buttercream color. I managed to stay out of the food descriptions till I got to the oranges. Mm hmm Super pretty. This is a seven series. All of the, um, any of the patterns that we've used uh, Merino Cloud for, this would be perfect. Even like the wrap that I'm wearing, it'd be great out of this. Uh, seven series is a slow self um, like an ombre, she calls it an ombre, but it is hand painted with paint brushes. It is crazy, uh, amazing to watch it being done. Uh, Merino Cloud, of course, is always the staple in our collection. You cannot beat the price with the yardage that you're gonna get. This is a yarn that we like to call a chameleon. So it doesn't, it knits up at fingering all the way up to like a heavy worsted. I've knit uh, 18 stitches over four inches and it's absolutely beautiful. All right, the beaded silken sequins is really gorgeous. She has, um, what are the beads called on this one? Maybe they're bronze. That's what I'd go with because they, they're very like, Normally Dark it chocolate says, root beer but it is a bronze bead. The skein, because it is not a ton of, um, it's a smaller skein, that it's dyed as a variegated instead of a seven series. If you do want it dyed as a seven series, you have the option of buying 
uh, having something custom dyed for you where they uh, wind, I think, what is equivalent to seven skeins of beaded silk and sequins together, and they can do the seven series. Uh, my top's not here, but my beaded silk uh, seven series of Natik yarns is done that way. So you can see all those same beautiful colors. You can see the charcoal shows that slight teal leaning just a little bit more in this one. <laughs> And then it goes very coppery as it shifts into the oranges, the lavender. You can see the sky blue, soft sky blue color a little bit more. Uh, ribbon candy would be, you would want to hold it together or use a smaller needle because we're using worsted. If you wanted to do ribbon candy, uh, this mohair ombre two ply would be gorgeous for that. Or you could double strand, let's just say merino cloud with a coordinating color and hold it two strands. So the coordinating colors for this collection, which we have had neither of these in the boutique, this is 303. This is the most gorgeous purple it's like that shade at dusk where the yeah. sky is just starting to get dark and it's got that dark dark charcoal tint but it is this beautiful purple like i want to call it dusk dusky purple not dusty purple it's been doing that like susan's dog's picture just showed up all right, if you're wondering what does it look like, Melanie, here is a slipped September out of this yarn. Oh, and lots of the beaded silk. That uh -huh. is amazing. Oh, no, this That's... isn't. This is Badlands. Yeah. There's another one that she did. That's the wrong Oh, one. she did the other slip, the one you're doing. Mm-hmm. I don't know if it's out there. Um, all right, so let me show you what next. That is color 303. The other coordinating color is N23A, which is beautiful. It's a really pretty kind of like neon ultraviolet purple. It is definitely more purple in person. The camera is making it a little bit of like a cobalt highlight to it, and it really is like ultraviolet is the perfect there are color so for it. So many you guys, she is crazy fast on her designs. She's probably the fastest knitter I've ever seen. I don't think she sleeps. I mean, I don't know, but much. Boy. Hey, Cindy, thank you for sharing this to the fans page. All right. So, here is one of her designs out of this yarn this is i believe it's only one skein yes one skein of oh, wow. merino cloud that's cool it like can the... be a cowboy cowl it can be really big to wear on your back i love the different directions of it mm -hmm. well you, you know her book the book she produced is modular knitting was doing all kinds of stuff like this yeah isn't that beautiful? So it's like knit part of it one way, then mm -hmm. pick up stitches and knit the other way. And this pattern is free with the purchase of the yarn in your notes. If you're ordering online, just let us know which of the patterns you would like. This is called the Fire and Ice Shawl. Um, here is the Fire and Ice Diagonal Scarf. Oh, which that's I even think cooler. Is beautiful. This is oh with mohair ombre two ply. So one skein of this beauty would work for this project. It's stunning. That one is gorgeous. I forget how to, there we go. It's big. Here's a close up. What's nice about the mohair ombre, it's very soft and so nice to work with. 
um, I have a suggestion for it afterwards with something that's behind me that I knit because mm -hmm. I think it would be beautiful out of um, a couple colors. This is another thing. This is, I don't even know when she knit this up. This is the Silky Shawl Collar Jacket using, that looks like mohair. Let's see, what does she have? Oh my goodness. Let's try this. Oh no, it is only Silky Twist. Funny, the collar looks almost like it's mohair. I must be because of the two shades that she yes, did. That great. It's tricking That's the eye. That's a pattern too. Uh, here's another one. If you're wondering what to do with Silky Twist, this would be beautiful. And I think there's a few more in the collection. Here's More Slips Modular Top. If you liked her first one, this was, she just whipped this one out. It is amazing to me. And if you want to sample Silky Twist, we've got some beautiful colors in stock. This little hat is a one skein wonder with leftovers. All right, so what I was thinking would be beautiful, and this could be uh, a pattern, you can get the pattern for free with a purchase of the yarn, is this beautiful sweater behind me. I did use mohair ombre two ply mixed with merino cloud. So you could use this one in um, fire and ice mohair ombre two ply with either of these. And really you're gonna see, um, they just blend really, really well. I'm gonna turn these so you guys can see the color numbers of them. The dus more dusky purple of 303 or the brighter ultraviolet purple of N23A with mohair ombre two ply would make that gorgeous sweater behind Boss Lady. And I think I it's just called like ombre pullover. It is. She's got a V-neck, which is the one that I want to do next. I'm going to do this one. That's cute. Okay, here's one. Melanie, I could see you doing this. This is knit out of uh, Silk Daydream. And you're in luck. We actually brought it in out of the Silk Daydream. You can see it's a little bit softer. 100% Japanese silk, 400 yards per skein. That's amazing. Okay, look at this. Here's how it's put up. I love that she gives this great diagram. Part one. So you're working it from the back over your shoulders. Oh, how fun. Oh, really interesting construction. For those of you who love to knit Brassavola, we have the Mohair Ombre One Ply, and then you can pair it with the same color, so you can uh, have a play on opacity, or you can use it with one of the other colors. And I've seen quite a few people have done it too, where they did the garter stitch at the beginning and end with beaded silk and sequins. Mm -hmm. So you get that added weight to the ends of your scarf, which makes it drape even nicer. Okay, here is the one that I knit. This is the ombre pullover. You held together mohair ombre two ply, with Art Yarns Merino Cloud. Dottie did the same one as I did, um, but really relaxing, fun knit. It's knit mostly on a 10, so that was something that I finished really quickly. She sizes it from a 34 up to a 52. And you can do it with sleeves. I like how she'll do this, like, okay, one sleeve's done, she's still working on the other one. But let me go back, she has a V-neck, which that's the one that I'm interested in doing next. This is the ombre 
V-neck pullover. And here's my friend Lucinda wearing hers in progress. It's so different the way they turn out. So on, on Lucinda's, her mohair and her this color of her sweater were very similar in a lot of spots. That's why you're getting more of this blocking. With Iris, her mohair was solid blue. I really liked on mine, <coughs> the merino cloud was a speckled or you could use a solid. And then my mohair was the um, color. The base actually of this is cream and then all this just magic pops out from it. I mean, those are one, of, this is one of the sweaters that I actually wear. Um, when, when we let her have it back. Yes, I, I don't think I, ha I maybe have two sweaters at home. All the rest are here. All right, next for the people who like coordination, we also brought in beaded silk and sequins in the coordinating colors so there is an entire array of deliciousness so there's the 303 which is that more dusky purple and the n23a which is the more ultraviolet purple make it match there we go here are the three lines that we brought in in the coordinating colors we have beaded silk and sequins light, 100% silk with glass beads and sequins, 110 yards per skein. We have her brand new uh, yarn, Silky Twist. This is 80% extra fine merino wool, 20% silk. The first worsted weight that she has released this, oh, in a long time, because there used to be another one, a wool, but like in 2005. 219 yards per skein. Uh, we have lots of people knitting with this. It is incredible. Uh, stay tuned. We have a lot more coming into the boutique for uh, the new knit along that's coming. We also have Merino Cloud, 80% extra fine Merino, 20% cashmere. If you know, you know. This mm -hmm. is one of those yarns that uh, once you knit with it, you don't want to go to very many other bases. She has this knack for picking amazing quality yarn. Hi, Marlene. And the most delicious colorways. So one is not a star, together they are stars. All right, we have uh, one more base to talk about. This is Cashmere Ombre 2-ply. Uh, my wedding shawl, one of them was made out of this. This is 100% Italian cashmere, 738 yards per skein. Uh, it looks thin, but you actually knit it up on a size five to nine needle. You can see like you it looks thinner than it is because you're seeing the two plies separately, but these two that you see stay together, which is why you get to knit it at more of a fingering weight gauge. Uh, this is so gorgeous and so soft. Everybody needs to get at least one skein of cashmere ombre in their life. Mm -hmm. Even if all you do is pet it. I mean, you guys got a skein. That was exciting. I know. I'm... De I'm trying to decide what mine wants to be when it grows up. I mean, I know it wants to be a sweater. Yeah. But what sweater? That is the problem. I mean, you have two skeins, so you have enough yeah. to actually do. Here are some ideas. People always want to know, what do you do with um, the two-ply? So here are, this is one of hers. I think this is fantastic. Very simple, it is just a ombre tube. Nothing's crazy. Again, if you are seeing a pattern that you love, just let me know. I can get the pattern for you at no charge with the purchase of the yarn. This is airplane knitting at its finest. Knit, 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 knit. Um, do a little bit, in my opinion, I would do a little bit of ribbing here, but that's me, because I'm a nut and I don't like any type of rolling. 
but for traveling, it's really lightweight. Uh, it's a tube, you don't have to seam anything, and you can use every bit of your cashmere. Here is, now this is a fun one. This is a sweater that she designed. It's knit on a size eight, and depending on your size, one to three skeins is what you need. I know hers is a one skein wonder. That's beautiful. Uh, here's another one. This is the Argyle Lace Cardigan. This is made again with one or two skeins depending on your size. Really beautiful. This was knit, what's that? I that was know. the OAS day OAS one, day. I think. Yeah. I do think we even have some of it. We bought lots. This is a really pretty um, gray to the pink. Uh, I've, oh my gosh, it drives me crazy when it does that. Hold on, here we go. Oh, this is fun, tri yarns, one-armed bandit. Let's hope the pattern's available, because it's, uh, it's not, okay, well then there, we'll move on. Boy, something's wrong with the internet. It's, yeah, I'm surprised we have internet at, it's at like this it's point. It's like opening it up. This is, this is huge. Okay, that's fun. Look at her cowboy boots and her slip dress. That's a really cute look. An easy oversized garter stitch shawl. And if you don't want it that oversized, you Stop. could just do a one skein one. Yeah. Because I think she did two. She did. I would only do one skein. It is ginormous. Um, this is another one. Same gal. She did. She likes big stuff. She does. You she's can little, tell. She's tiny too. Baltic Sea Inspirations. Okay. I love it on the front. That's kind of, that's really fun. This is actually a free download. And I, again, I'm gonna say one skein and just be aware of your yardage so that you can finish it out. Um, and then, do we have anything else? I was trying to find some silk daydream patterns. Susan, do you have any? I feel like, well, while it wasn't technically out of Silk Daydream, our um, oh, look at Parisian this Serenity wrap, we did one out of Silk we Daydream did. once, and it I was gorgeous. So here is our pattern, Felicitations. This was the wedding shawl that I knit, but I ended up wearing the one Susan knit, and it is one of our patterns. But look at really good yardage. That is one full skein. I do have beaded silk and sequins. I did mine like a wrap because I wanted it to be wide enough to cover my shoulders. But I'm in love with this slip stitch. It has that Fabergé egg. And I just think it's so beautiful. I'm like, look at all that damn gray in my hair. I don't really see it. Wait, I have some light. So funny. Um, all right. Well, we are going to move on real quick to what are we teaching this uh, month in the boutique? We have quite a few classes. Uh, did you bring yours in? Um, it's still damp, so okay. hopefully I'll bring it tomorrow. So, uh, Tuesday the 10th, we are teaching the grist mill cowl. That is on January 10th. These are going along the lines as the easy patterns. Fun, fast, nothing puts you over the edge and you end up sooner rather than later. We also have on Friday, January 13th, the Rosa Gallica Cowl. Uh, I will be teaching you how to do the knitting and then online I will be showing you how to sew it together because that seems to be where people get hung up with. These both are One Skein Wonders out of Malabrigo's new deliciousness, Noventa. Which, more Noventa's coming. 
On Saturday, January 14th, we have the Tilted Blocks Lace Shawl class. That is a two hour class taught by yours truly. It uses two skeins of fingering weight yarn knit on a size six needle and your pre-work is very easy. You're gonna cast on and work row one of the pattern. We do consider this uh, advanced beginner and we're gonna teach you right away how to do the lace. So the two hours is to perfect basically this lace pattern. It's another name for it is drunken lace. <laughs> um, because it goes back and forth. Um, we've got two classes coming. They are online, the Repito Cowl, which Anna just finished, and the Colorwork Hearts hat, which I am working on. So I'm excited to show you guys that. Uh, let's talk about what we're wearing. I am wearing a poncho that one knit me out of yarn I sent them. It's beautiful. I think it's really flattering. I do have a little t-shirt underneath it. Um, and I like the way that he used, because I'd given him tons of yarn, but that he combined basically this um, variegated, which breaks up any pooling that you would have with plain stockinette. I really want to see it in solid. Like that's, like he and I were talking yesterday about this. Um, he's like Merino cloud would be perfect in this mm -hmm. one. But it is a fingering weight. It is knit a little bit tight, which I actually like. It's warm um, and it's fun. It just goes, you know, I have a pair of jeans on. I'm very comfortable today. Cute little flats. So I love the color of the flats. So that is what I'm wearing. Uh, I was gonna wear this, but it's too damn cold in the boutique today. Somehow the heating got turned off. So One of us in our New Year's stupor yes. switched it off. Because oh none of us remember doing yeah. it. We're like, it wasn't me. And it is cold. So unless the ghost decided it needed to be cold in here. It could have been the wind. Who knows? Flipped the switch. Who knows? <laughs> Maybe, well, it could have been it turned off. Because we had some power outages. Yeah, we did have some lovely weather over the weekend. Um, I am wearing my beekeeper cardigan, one of Marie Green's um, four-day sweaters. That's real quotes. This was a seven-day sweater with working my buns off, so... It was hard to do. Four-day, haha, very funny. Yeah. Granted, I did not make mine as cropped as her, and I decided that it needed to have the bee stitch all the way up whereas hers is just reverse stock net so you get to a certain stitch count isn't that beautiful but i of course have to make my stuff more complicated which may be part of why it took so much longer but a uh, really short no button cardigan she just has a cute little shawl pin holding it together BK weight. So really pretty merino cloud would be perfect and top down on back. circular needles. All right. I'm coming around. I changed on you. <laughs> uh, Evening glow. Because we're doing our yarns. I had to wear our yarns. Yes, That's fair. I agree. So, two colors of our yarns in the Fibonacci sequins. With a teeny bit of baited silk and sequins because why not? Because glitter. We have to. We have leftovers. <laughs> we can't we help ourselves. We do. Glitter everything. Yeah. Is your shawl a sweater? Melanie, I think they're talking to me. I, it's, it's, it's a, a swancho. swancho. It's a swancho. It's a sweater poncho. Isn't it gorgeous? I, I mean, we do, I mean, we do like saying it. Can we get the pattern? It's beautiful. Yes, please tell us you still have notes, Juan, because yes. we all want one. We all want one. We, want a, we, want, <laughs> we all want one Juan original. Right? It's gorgeous. <laughs> We, Susan likes to match. Yes. All right, my friends, we are off. I will be back at three o'clock with Knit, Sip, and Hook with Boss Lady. And I will see everyone soon. Our boutique is open 11 to 5 this week. We have lots of classes. And remember, New Year's, New Year, New Skill. All right, everyone, have a great day. Bye bye.